Okay. Hey guys, this is Wizard Gaming here, and today I am playing Minecraft The Hive. I don't know what I'm gonna play. I didn't even think of this with my friend Jalen. Okay. With almost my friend Jalen. Would you like immediately like her to hang out? Yellow? What happened? I have no idea. I was introducing and I said and as soon as I said your name my phone just booped. Okay. So I am playing the hive. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna play today. It's probably I don't know. With my friend Jalen. So soon he's gonna have a YouTube channel. And when he gets a YouTube channel, I will put at the end of the video his YouTube channel so you guys can go subscribe to him when you guys get when he gets one. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna play. Uh, I guess I'll play. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, man, why is this so hard? Wait a second. Hey, it's all dangerous. I so played this game a long time ago. What? Uh what now? What's that? It's this Oh, I know that game. It's on Minecraft. It's on B it's on the PlayStation Vita. I want that game so badly. Ho rapper, ho rapper, da da rapper. <laughs> I remember that. I know. I don't know. I've never seen Dan TDM play that. I'm talking about um uh, this old hive hive game called Block Party. It he played it way before he dyed his hair, way before he got really dumb, not really dumb, but way too silly. It was when Dave TDM would say words like like the H word and sometimes the D word. It was those times before he dyed his hair and went all kid friendly. I enjoyed those times because he was much more serious. But hey. Yeah, even though he was serious, he was still kid friendly. Yeah, he would say a few words, but only sometimes. And most people say that the H word isn't really a bad word. And bad word. And I don't think it's a bad word either. It just depends how you use it. If you say yeah, what the I H. Say it's a bad word, but I just don't want to say it just to make sure. I mean, well, it, it's, it depends how you use it. If you say what the H, then of course that's a bad word. But if you say just something like if you're in church and say something like that, then it wouldn't be yeah, really like, bad. Oh, you the Lord, yeah, something like that. I'm not going to say the word still because my channel is all kid friendly and I don't say any words that may be offensive to people. So we're just going to say the H for now. But yeah, David DM didn't say any serious words. He'd say the D word and sometimes the H word. But he wouldn't say the D word a lot. He'd only say the D word when he got pretty mad. But he was much more serious than he is now. Now, I can still watch one of his newer videos and still enjoy it. It's just, it's way less enjoyable than it used to be. Yeah. Please don't be copyrighted music. I am so hoping for not copyrighted music. Gray! I don't see the color gray. What the crud? Ah! Well, I died. I think I was on the wrong thing. I got an achievement that immediately said fail. The game is making fun of me because I actually got a leap fell on the first round. I didn't put my brightness up, guys, but I'll do that. Never mind, I can just do that now. Nice, nah, so my brightness is all the way up. Jim, do you have your own computer? Yes. Yeah. Is it a monitor or is it a laptop? Laptop. I had my first computer ever was my mom's old computer a Windows 7. I still have it. It's, it's right it's right beside it's um it's right over there. It's under that blue cover. I use I don't use it anymore, but it was my first computer. It had some glitches. It was pretty old. But now I have this high processing thing and it's very fun. I also um bought Minecraft dude. See, I, had, I was really mad at my old computer, and that's one of the reasons I wanted a new computer. See, for um, a good grade present, my mom bought me Minecraft 
for PC for thirty dollars. And let me tell you what happened, Jalen. Jalen, you still hear me? Yeah. So I went on it and I downloaded it and everything. And my computer did not have a high enough processing power to even play the game. And I'm like, wait a second. So my mom paid thirty dollars and I can't even play the game. And I'm like, oh no, no, no. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted a new computer. And luckily now, my computer has a high enough processing power to play Minecraft PC. But I was super mad. So guys, I really do not think I should even start saying any words, like anything. I use what the heck, because that doesn't really seem like an offensive word. It I don't think my, I don't think my, my, I don't think what the heck is an offensive word my mom does. She thinks it's just another replacement for the H word, but I think heck is fine. So if you hear me say what the heck, just know, in my opinion, I just think that's a word that kids should at least be able to say. And I don't think that should offend anybody, because it's not like I hear, I see adults saying that around kids, so you can't say that's a curse word. And I, I, and I hear what the heck in kids shows also, so you can't say anything. Hey guys, I actually survived! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, but, um, yellow. Hey, I was right beside yellow, my favorite color. Well, somebody tried to jump on yellow and immediately missed. But yeah, so you guys cannot say heck with that because I see show saying it all the time. Is this, the, is this the wrong color? Yeah, what is it? But yeah, I see adults saying it around kids all the time. I see a kid's show saying it all the time. So I really don't think the heck it's a bad word. If you guys think that, sorry for offending you in this entire video if I say it. But, but that's, that's just... <gasps> Somebody has a fish skin. Oh my goodness, I want that. But you know what's funny? Kid shows nowadays are allowed to say freaking. I don't know why. Well, at least Adventure Time is. <laughs> yeah. Because if you watch a newer Adventure Time episode, you hear Peppermint but Butler or Princess Bubblegum say, It's going to be freaking awesome. Yeah. And in one episode of in one episode of regular show, they just said what the H. They didn't actually say what the you know. They actually literally said what the H. They didn't actually say the word though. So I don't know why kid shows or at least kid shows like Adventure Time and regular show are allowed to say words like that. I thought freaking was an offensive word. I don't know why I thought that. I mean, it's just moderate. No. Well, I know I'm not saying it a lot. Right. I say what the flipping heck, because that sounds... And I was playing this game, it had a few words in it, but this guy called Drippy, he had this amazing accent. He was like, what the flipping heck, man? And it was really funny. Oh, he must have been Jamaican. It was hilarious. He was like, what the flipping heck, man? Why, why are we doing this? And Drippy was like some type of fairy. He was like the king of all fairies. You know, it was hilarious how he would speak. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I looked, and, like, it was rated, like, the game was, like, rated PG. Nah, it was, like, rated 10 and up. Like, I think that's why they were using moderate words that were kind of bad words, but they didn't say it all the time. They would say, what the heck? They would sometimes say the D word, but that's all they really said. Yeah, um, I have this game, Lego Marvel Super Hero, and, um, they use the D word. And then... Seriously? shows make jokes about cursing a lot because like a lot of shows or movies we're like what the and like it will put something like that that character is known for i can't remember i remember a show that did this oh yes i remember i remember it is uh in the spongebob episode oh, what is it? 
It was in the SpongeBob episode called Bad Words. It was in the SpongeBob episode called Bad Words. Guys, it's like from season one, two, or three. And in that episode, SpongeBob and Patrick were saying what, like, things. And, like, he would saturate out with dolphin noises because they're, like, underwater. So, and one time SpongeBob walked across Patrick and said, Hey, Patrick, how hey, are you doing? And when I was little, I did not understand what any of... I just thought they were just making dolphin noises to joke around because, you know, they're underwater. But after I got older, I'm like, wait a second. Are they trying to say what I think they're saying? One thing they did in a few of the newer Spongebob is they said, um, well, Sandy said, because, like, she's from the country. So country people, like, they would say what in Sam and then H. But Sandy actually said it, except she, instead of the H word, she said hill. Oh, I remember one of that. SpongeBob is just an yeah. it's just a show with adult jokes that kids want little kids won't understand. But SpongeBob's demographic is five to eleven, so you know, twelve anybody on above eleven will probably understand the jokes. But you know in the first yeah. SpongeBob movie with SpongeBob and Patrick, all right, I'm not gonna say what the joke is about because little kids could be watching this video. But you know when in this first SpongeBob movie when they eat all that ice cream and they're all like weird acting and they all act weird. You know what that's supposed to be, right? You know what the ice cream is supposed. To be? In the first um in the first movie, remember that when when in the, have you seen the first movie? Remember when at the beginning when SpongeBob and Patrick when SpongeBob was sad, they went to Goopy Gooper and when they went to Goopy Gooper and the Goopy Gooper place when they went to the Gooper Goopy place and they ate all the ice cream, it was kind of like a hangover. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh! No, I didn't make it. I died. <laughs> but yeah, it was like it's like they got I'm not gonna say it, and like they, and they, that's why they went crazy and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, one thing SpongeBob said was, um, um in the episode, Gary takes a bath. Oh, I know that one. It's a Gary prison. Said, don't drop the soap. He said, the balloons. Don't drop them. That is supposed to be a joke that I can't even reference to because I do not want to get YouTube saying. You can't upload, you can't put this video here because the, the content in this video isn't, the, isn't, isn't appropriate to your demographic. So, when I was young, I used to say, how could you not watch Spongebob? How are you not allowed to watch Spongebob to people who... Well, yeah, yeah, I get it. Be I know a lot of parents let their kids watch SpongeBob because they know they're. I guess a lot of parents let their kids watch SpongeBob when they're really young because they know their kids won't even understand the jokes. But when their kids get older, they're like, "You can't watch SpongeBob" because I know their kids are gonna understand the jokes. Yeah, they're like, "You can't watch SpongeBob anymore," and then they wouldn't tell why. See, my one of my first shows ever to watch was SpongeBob. So I've been watching SpongeBob for a long, long, long time, and I still watch it now. It's not as good as I remember it being, but hey, it's it's okay. It's not as good as it used to be, because the creator left the show, and the creator isn't even doing episodes anymore. But well, he did. After the second movie, he came back. So the show, the show's getting better. It's not to it's not excellent like it used to be, but it's getting okay. Yeah. And but, but they just remove the jokes the thing about it is old spongebob had these adult jokes they were so well put in that kids just wouldn't understand them but yeah. now the adult jokes that they try and slip in a little kid that at least has watched in some movie or has heard something about their parents saying or is just like or is like in third grade has heard and worked, whereas Liz just heard about like suicide would know the joke. Like in one of the newer episodes, Plankton went on the road and said in in um something. It was an episode where um Plankton was afraid of Mr. Krabs' daughter Pearl because Plankton was afraid that Pearl would eat him because she's a whale. And in the episode, Plankton went on the road and literally laid there. And they didn't even try to hide it like in the older episodes. He seriously said, "Shouldn't buses be coming this way?" 
So Splunk was so Splinter was seriously trying to cause suicide. And he didn't even try to hide it. And the newer episodes, like when they said he didn't even say don't drop the soap. He literally said the blue don't drop them. So yeah, they, 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 it was so well put in. Uh huh. But now the newer episodes pretty much give them away. Else, but for younger audiences, it was just doubloons. And honestly, I know I didn't understand ba the bad words thing. When I thought when it said bad words, I thought it meant bad grammar. <laughs> when I was little. I thought when they said bad words before I learned what bad words actually were. I thought when they said bad words, I thought they meant like bad grammar. Oh. So like that's a bad word. Like it's a bad. You're using bad grammar. But or after I figured out what. Something like that. But after yeah. I figured out what bad words actually were, I'm like, oh. oh. But I remember in another episode, Plankton was retiring and was playing um, a funeral song for when a war general like passes. Or I remember an episode. Oh, I forgot what it was. Oh no! Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally exited up the video. Oh, uh, there's some stuff in SpongeBob. Oh yes, it was in a newer episode, and it was really, really gross. And I can't, and I couldn't believe that modern SpongeBob actually could have put that in. But in a newer episode, in the newest episode of SpongeBob call in um it was in the newest episode of SpongeBob that came out a week ago um in it SpongeBob is doing surgery on Squidward right and they sent throughout all of it but in it SpongeBob actually kills Squidward but at the end of the episode you figure out that he's fine but in it truly SpongeBob turns Squidward into sushi for one when did he do that in the newest episode of SpongeBob that came out a week ago and in it, oh no, I don't know what color magenta is. Okay, that's not magenta. No. But um, yeah. So um, SpongeBob turns forward in the sushi, which it looks really gross because you can see his tentacles. They censored out all of this. Squidward's blood. It showed Squidward's blood. I'm serious. When I when I say it showed Squidward's blood, I kid you not. They censored out the cutting part, but you can see when SpongeBob used the little thing. You can see black, like black squirts coming from the censored part. And I and I know what they were trying to get to there. That's supposed to be Squidward's blood. And I'm like, what the? Yeah, crud? but um, they tried to censor it by trying to make it look like ink. Yeah, but I, I think anybody, I think anybody who's older. Or is right before SpongeBob's ending demographic. Because SpongeBob is supposed to go. They're they're aiming for five to eleven year olds. So anybody that's like right at ten or right at eleven or just above that age will understand what they're trying to get to there. And it's really not amusing to seeing Squidward's blood come out, even though they're trying to censor it. And SpongeBob made a Krabby Patty out of Squidward's tentacles. He put Squid one of Squidward's tentacles between the bread and it showed it up close and it was the most grossest thing I've ever seen in Spongebob other than the Nasty Patty video. So there's this episode of older Spongebob called Nasty Patty and um, Nasty Patty had Spongebob and um, um, Mr. Krabs giving the, um, the uh, health inspector a Nasty Patty and the dude like passed out and his tongue was out and his eyes were just open and you're like uh oh and in the episode they tried burying him they actually like buried his grave while the cops came and at the end of the episode you figured out that he was alive but you could tell that they were trying to aim at right there yeah and they were basically trying to like that's a real thing like restaurants would try to poison people if they did something and yeah, that's a real thing. But yeah, that actually happened. Also, in an, a newer episode after the movie when the creator left, um, this was an episode maybe around some I don't know what season it was in, but Squidward was depressed and so no, it was in a hotel and Squidward didn't want to work. Well, he did. He he quit his job so then he could come back as a customer. So instead of having to work for the customers, Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob would have to work for him. So, and in it, he said, I don't want those 
I don't want that pie. I want my grandma's pie. So they had to go to the grandma. And then they knocked on the door and she opened it. She said, ah! And then they had a, they were holding a bag, right? And then they, they were holding a bag that was shaped like a person. It was like, like a person was inside the bag. And, and Mr. Crab tried closing the trunk and it wouldn't open. So the Spongebob got the shovel and he hit it, hit it, and hit it, and it wouldn't close. Now, I'm, before I tell you what happened next, what did you think, what did you think that looked like? Yeah, but actually it turned out to be a lot of pies. It turned out to be lots and lots of pies. There's out to be lots and lots of pies. You knew this because Squidward's grandma came out of her house and she's like, Allow me, boys. And she immediately shut the door. She sh immediately shut the thing. So, but you could tell what they were trying to aim. And it wasn't even hidden. Like, you saw her like, ah! So you immediately would have thought that she was like, she got stuff in the bag or something. It turns out that the, it, that it, the bag was empty, and she's like, ah! So I immediately thought, when I watched the episode when I was old, I'm like, they actually stuffed her in the bag when I watched it again, but then it turns out that, no, it, it just showed. It was just a lot of pies, and they just couldn't close the door. And what they were hitting it with the shovel, they weren't actually hitting Squidward's grandma. His grandma was actually gave them the pies. Now, they didn't show any of this. So, before I told you what actually happened, what did you think? Um, I honestly think this was going to a bad point. Yeah, I thought, when I watched the episode, I thought that they actually took, abducted his grandmother, was hitting her with a shovel, and was trying, and had her in a tight bag, and was trying to close the, trying to close the trunk. But no, it wasn't any of that. It was just pies. But let me tell you, my SpongeBob can barely get away with anything that it used to be. Because of how young kids are watching it now, they know that they can barely, and how it's the 2000, it's now the 2000s and stuff. They can't get away of what, with uh, what they used to be able to get away with. With the, like, with the hangover joke in the first movie. And they can't get away with that stuff now. And they know it, because the younger, way younger kids are watching the show than people, than, than what they, the, actually adults used to watch Spongebob when it came back on in 1999, but, so a lot of the adults got the jokes and thought it was funny how they actually could slip that into a kid's cartoon. Wait, Antonio, mm -hmm. there's one thing that you forgot to mention. What? So, um, Neptune lost his crown in the first movie, right? Yeah, he did. I know that. Um, so, basically, he said, I'll give you a few days to get my crown, or I will freeze Mr. Krabs. And that's basically, like, a ransom. It is. Wait, it is. It's like some, like, it's like a criminal kidnapped, like a kidnapper kidnapped your child and said, I won't give him back until you pay me this money. Well, actually, in the movie, he actually seriously said, I will kill Mr. Krabs, which I was surprised that they could even print the word kill in a kid's movie called about a sea sponge that loves everybody. I was surprised that they could even fit that in there. I thought Nickelodeon would say, nope, nope, that's inappropriate, but nope, they're like, yep, that's fine. Like, shows these days can't even put the word murder in the in the show because then it would be immediately parents would start complaining that it's not a kid's show because it has the word murder in it yeah. i think parents are a little too overprotective yeah, it's not appropriate. well it is it isn't really it depends what your demographic is if your demographic is like like you know gravity falls right that really creepy show that appeared on um disney xd that show's demographic was Seven-year-olds, seven and up. 
I don't even, I didn't even know how a seven-year-old can handle that type of stuff. Because sometimes that show even creeped me out. when, And I watched the show when I was nine. And that show creeped me out. Sometimes making me have to turn off the show because it was so scary. And it thought seven-year-olds could watch it? I don't get it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta hide. I am hiding now. Oh no. I'm playing I'm playing My Minecraft hide and go seek and I'm trying to hide because I have nowhere else to hide. Yeah, can I no that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. This looks so out of place. I I just remembered another thing. And I don't know if I'm going too far with this. I don't know if you have a different opinion than me. But, um, it said, um, in the second movie of Spongebob that Spongebob loved everything. Well, he, it said that Spongebob loved the Krabby Patty more than anything else in the world. And then it said that was saying a lot because Spongebob loves everything. And, um. It said he even loves his friend Patrick, and he was holding Patrick. And then, yeah, it was funny. And it was a pink background, and I honestly thought that was kind of a... You know what I'm gonna say. Well, if you look at Spongebob's character, they made Spongebob way dumber after the creator left. In the older, in the, in the old, in seasons one and three, Spongebob liked everything, but it wasn't his main characteristic. Spongebob was smart. Even though Patrick was dumb, he adored Patrick. But now, Patrick is just dumb, dumb, dumb. And Spongebob is dumb, dumb, dumb and just loves everything. And that's his main characteristic. Yeah. And in, the, in season one of three, Spongebob was smart. He liked things, but didn't like every single thing. He adored Patrick, even though Patrick was dumb. Patrick is suffering the same fate as Homer. You know who Homer is, right? Yeah. You know, Homer in the older season of The Simpsons was, wasn't was smart, but he still had some heart. Nowadays, he's just really dumb. That's the same thing that's happening with Patrick. See, Patrick was funny because he was dumb, but sometimes he would have these really smart moments, and you'd be like, what in the world? Like, in this ep in the Spongebob movie, um, when they were stuck in the fishbowl, Patrick was like, it seems to be a big wall of psychic energy. And Spongebob was like, no, it's a fishbowl. And it was funny, I'm like, how is Patrick knowing all this stuff? In the newer episode, you would never see Patrick or hear Patrick say anything like that. Yeah. I mean, how would he even know about a ball of energy? Like, he said, this is, seems to be a wall of psychic energy. Nowadays, you would never hear him say that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I died. No. I thought, I, five seekers passed me. Five seekers. But then one looks right at me. Okay, the Seekers won. I was the last guy. I was the last guy. I killed my team. GG. GG, G -G, everyone. GG. GG. But, yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, Patrick would never say something like that in the new show. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Minecraft The Hive on something, something. I can't remember what it's called. Hide and Seek. Yes, I remember now. Um. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so yeah, this is Ridge Gaming, signing out with his friend Jalen. Bye! Peace.